I have to face most of my fears, most of my doubts, evaluate myself too. I went through a deep, deep, deep introspection and I needed to have a game plan. Hello, hello everyone. I am excited to have you all here today because this is the first episode of the growth journey. So basically I'm going to introduce to you the project. What is it about? What we're going to do within the growth journey? How often you're going to see me? The whole process behind it? What triggered the project? You're going to know everything about it. And um, I'm super excited. I hope this is something that you're going to like. Um, the hardest for me will be to be consistent, especially when the season will... Um, start again. For those of you who don't know me, hi and welcome. My name is May and I'm a French figure skater, two-time Olympian, six-time national champion. I thought it would be nice to share a little bit more of the behind the scenes that we never show, the moment of vulnerability, the moment of doubts, the ups and downs, the downs, because the ups we show, the downs not that many, uh, how we get back up, all of that. This is everything that I want to share here. So to give you a little bit of context, I'm going to explain to you what initiated the growth journey. Long story short, World 2021, I went there. It was the Olympic qualifier. I really, really wanted to give my all and I gave my all literally because I ruptured my Achilles tendon. I was off the ice for six months and um, unfortunately, friends in the ladies field didn't qualify. So given that after two jumps, not even two jumps, after attempting the second jump of my uh, short program, I was off the competition. I really had some time to think about what I wanted to do next. If I wanted to keep going because I'm 27, I'm not that old, but in figure skating, I am old because the average age is um, around 20 something. So like I sat down and I realized I started in senior uh, in 2011, 2011, 11 years later, I'm still here. But during that phase where I was off the ice, I have to face most of my fears, most of my doubts, evaluate myself too. I went through a deep, deep, deep introspection and I needed to have a game plan because at the end of the day, my tool my main tool is my body and my body was not functioning. So what was I supposed to do? Will I still be relevant in figure skating? Do I still want to skate? Do I still have the passion? What am I going to do during that time where I have to take care of my body to be able to be back on the ice? Will I ever be able to jump again? How um, is that time off going to affect my weight? What am I supposed to do? Because um, adulthood is here. I'm 27, uh, should I just go live my life um, as a master's degree graduate because I graduated in June of 2021. It actually helped me face so many things and it gave me the idea of the very first chapter of this growth journey. Face it until you make it. I wish I was the one inventing it, but I was listening to a lady's talk on YouTube and it was Jeannie Mai with two other ladies. I'm forcing myself, so it's kind of like fake it till you make it, right? Yes. So I'm forcing myself, I'm like, or okay, all right. better face it till you make it. Face Ooh, it. Don't fake it. I like That's that. Good. I Don't like that, face Jeannie. It. And then I was like, <laughs> genius. Because that's precisely what I am I have been doing for the past year now. Facing every fear, weakness, um, greatness also, uh, accomplishments, doubts, life situations, life options. I had to face them and be like, how am I going to make a change in those area of my life? What is the process? It's still a work in progress. I'm still figuring out so many things, but since I have taken this approach, I'm seeing skating and life in a complete different manner and that's the whole process that i really want to share with you because that is something i'm very interested in whenever i hear like a success story or somebody that was able to uh, get back up after a hardship i want to understand what went through their mind how they were able to overcome it what they did to uh, eventually shift the the energy so then it turns into their advantage all of that i really love to 
learn and understand how they were able to do it so eventually I can apply it to myself when I have some life situations that are happening. So this is the whole thing that I really want to share through the growth journey. It might help someone out there too because we might go through the same thing, we might have the same questions, we might have the same struggles and maybe um, my way of seeing things will ignite so something in you and help you with maybe trying to solve it a little bit. And I'm a firm believer in um, one baby step at a time. So even if right now it looks like chaos, I still have those big dreams and goals for my life, professionally, personally, and um, in my sport. And that injury really made me realize how much I was passionate and I loved skating. And I know it's crazy, but I decided to keep skating, to come back skating. Uh, you haven't seen me yet competing, but finger crossed. That will happen very soon. I also have very big ambition for my professional career here too. I was like, okay, I've been studying for uh, how many years? This is another story I want to share with you. A story of resilience about my um, academic journey because that was something, but I'm proud I was able to graduate. But then after graduation, how am I supposed to use that? Um, I didn't feel legitimate because I'm uh, an athlete. And I didn't have all the experience that some of my friends might have because they were able to go to school and then work on the side. So they were actually acquiring like real life experience, which I kind of did at the end, uh, towards the end of my uh, master's. And it was great because actually I learned a lot. But then at the same time, I'm like, I am so much more than just an athlete. If you have any questions or things that maybe you think I've been through and um, I could talk about, leave that down below. This is gonna be an exchange. This is gonna be mutual help. I'll be more than happy to write down everything and to prepare some videos for you. And um, I hope you like the project. Let me know in the comments. Do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel so then you won't miss any of the videos whenever they are out. Um, I should be making a video every Thursday for the growth journey and every other Tuesday if I ever want to do some reviews or have a little chit chat time with you. I guess I've said everything. I'm excited for this new journey. I'm excited for this, this everything. And um, don't forget that you got this and I'll see you next time.